Hey everyone, so let's talk about Ethereum's price today. Now, we obviously discussed Bitcoin's price, but uh, Ethereum is super under tapped right now. Be sure to drop a like if you're an Ethereum holder, because I'm going to be dropping so much news about Ethereum today. But the trading volume grew much faster in Bitcoin's price in the first half of 2021. Be sure to subscribe for more Ethereum trading content and content in general, news that you need to see if you want to profit off crypto. The most important factor here is last time you've been on this show, what you probably noticed is that Ethereum is super under tap, that it could reach $10,000, but trading volumes for Ethereum increased by 1,460% over the first half of 2021. And I do think, you know, you can see Ethereum driving its Mustang over here, you know, Bitcoin being behind in his gold car. We are going to be seeing Ethereum's big prices soon. The world's second largest crypto asset has gained a round on Bitcoin in terms of trading volume growth during the first half of the year, according to a new report. Ether's trading volume grew faster than Bitcoin in the first half of the year, according to a new report from leading American crypto exchange Coinbase. So Coinbase said Ethereum is growing fast and last time we even saw a report that Ethereum could reach $4,500 by the end of the year. This is crazy news. Taking data from 20 exchanges across the globe, the report revealed that the trading volume for Bitcoin reached 2.1 trillion for a period, up 500% from 356 billion over the first half of last year. Ether's total trading volume reached 1.4 trillion, but its growth was much faster. And I do think Ethereum could reach $10,000 soon, not financial advice, obviously, but Coinbase remarked that it has been the first sustained period of the long time of Ether's trading pace exceeded Bitcoin. The research also measured crypto stolen market capitalization, which began at a total at 769 billion, so 769 peaked at 2.4 trillion in May and ended at a period of 1.4 trillion at the registering net gain of 86 year to date. It also noted the bulk of Bitcoin's gains came during quarter 4 2020 and quarter 1 2021, but the crypto assets price declined in quarter 2 2021. It's currently trading 38 or 39% from its April 13 all-time high of 66,000. Ether, on the other hand, saw the majority of its gains in quarter two when it doubled the price to 4,500. So we could be seeing that price again by the end of the year. The most important factor here is that Ethereum is nowhere near dead and it's looking very bullish on the short term and long term as I talked about last time. The second most valuable crypto asset appreciated 900% over the 12 month period and 210% over the six month period ending June. Ether holders prepare. This is very bullish news. In January, Cointelegraph practiced Ether will become the main asset for investors in 2021. Look at this. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum have rallied over the past week and Ethereum will become the main asset for investors in 2021. This was an opinion, but it has happened. You know, a lot of people are using Ethereum for transaction. Bitcoin has high fees, no development. Ethereum could easily reach $10,000 by 2025 and uh, $100,000 by 2030. It could happen. I do think Ethereum could reach $100,000 at some point. It's, it's possible, especially if they have some sort of a burn that they're going to be having in the future. You know, there's going to be only a lower supply from this point. And Ethereum's growth, you know, has been a huge since March. Uh, there's demand among developers who need, you know, e ERC-20 token traded during the first year since the launch of Ethereum Network. Despite the fact that the rate of expansion of the market for blockchain startups has slowed down since the initial coin offering bubble burst in 2018, their total number is still growing. So you can see over here, you know, they're still, still growing and uh, that's a really exciting factor. We're going to be seeing Ethereum a lot more. It's growing in DeFi. It's growing everywhere. And uh, this is very positive news. You know, you can see growing transaction volume. Everything is growing for Ethereum as crypto grows. So Ethereum is now could potentially surpass Bitcoin at some point. You know, maybe in 2040, but it could happen. I definitely do think it could happen. Let's look at short term now, because obviously Ethereum has a lot of potential. We all remember what big investors' attention to Bitcoin led last year. Now it's like some of the areas in cryptocurrency industry are in for the same and some of them are directly related to Ethereum. 
The main advantage of Ethereum lies in the versatility of its technology and its growing community. The community will be growing always. And in August 2020, Arkland and Algorand revealed plans to develop tools for introducing DeFi among institutions. In the fall of 2020, they became known as Sigma X Sigma. So Ethereum is not going anywhere on the long term. So let's look at short term. It's looking very bullish as well. Seems like Ethereum, you know, finally picked up. So we check over here. It has been on the green ever since. A lot of people know that's for Bitcoin. So we have to go Ethereum over here. You have so many of these. If you ever want to track prices, here's a pro tip. I hope it's worth a subscribe, but you can go, you know, for Tether. You can go for USDC. I'm going to go for US dollar. So Ethereum, $2,300. Like that's a crazy price. Are we ever going to be seeing 4500 I think at some point we will, you know, someone sold all their Ethereum at 3300 which is a lot of money. We saw a huge sell-off over here, but we could definitely be seeing those prices. Look at this pattern. This pattern happened at the same time and then, you know, uh, Ethereum peaked. So look at this. This looks exactly like the same thing. So let me just uh, show this for you. This and this. Any similarities? I do think so, you know. I, they look very similar. While this had a bigger gain, we're still not there yet. But uh, look at this small, small, small growth over a long period of time. And then a co complete bump. Again, look at this. Uh, yes, we saw decline. We saw a sort dip, you know. And then we saw an increase, decline, increase to this. Again, once again. You know, I made a mess. But you can see the same things that are happening once again. Not financial advice. But if you want to get started trading, link description in below. And you can, you know... Get some massive rewards. That's a, a beauty of its own. But we can see the same patterns happening once again. Yes, you know, a lot of people have lost their, their money when buying on the high. But most of us are holding Ethereum right now. And it's looking bullish. I wish I bought it at $240. But uh, if you've been in, a, in the Ethereum space for some time, this is definitely a factor to consider. Uh, on short term, Ethereum is looking bullish and on the mid term, we're not sure how it looks on the mid term, but on the long term, it's looking very bullish and the more technical. So it's saying here that uh, you should buy. Obviously, it's very hard to see that because it's my text is over there, but it's saying that you should actually buy right now, shortly buy, not a strong buy. So we're going to be seeing a small increase in the future. Looking very nice. If you want to get started trading, be sure, you know, to get your profits out of that. But uh, thank you so much for watching and talk to you next time. Peace, everyone.